happened to uh, the first video on the Reach the Next page, we found the activities we can do, little bits of development and sports for the children, we can go from PE and in the tennis lessons. Uh, I'm going to run over sending and receiving today. Now, today's video is sponsored by Creative Colour Hire, who do venue dressing for weddings, conferences, birthdays, christening, all that sort of thing. So, you can uh, find their uh, logo on the front and also uh, to their website. So, moving on to the activities, we're going to go through uh, sending and receiving, which is basically throwing and catching a little bit of a difference to it. So, the equipment we're going to use is a punch balloon. So, punch balloons are the ones you can buy at they're about four for a pound or Tesco, whichever supermarket. We've got punch balloons to start off with. We use these because they're light and they move like a ball. Most balloons will just fly up anywhere when you hit them, but these balloons, when you bounce them, they actually move in the same path. Uh, also, look at using sponge balls. So we've got sponge balls, they're a little bit slower and a little bit squishier. The, the, the bounce is a little bit easier for the drum to catch. And then last but not least, a tennis ball, a mini tennis ball. Okay, so the first activity that we'll do will be using the balloons for any of the preschool or uh, reception children up to year one or two. It just slows the game down so they have time to react. The slower you can make it, the easier it's going to be for that person to be able to uh, do the activity. Okay, welcome to part one. So part one is sending. So we're looking at using a balloon for reception or preschool or maybe year one two. So the real skill in coaching is making sure you can turn kids that can't into kids that can uh, in terms of their sporting development. So we're going to look at using the balloon and slowing everything down. If you can slow it down, it gives them more reaction time, it gives them time to be able to develop the skills. So I've got Henry here who's obviously going to do a little bit of uh, demonstrating with me. So all it is is these balloons and they, like I say, they, any supermarket can buy them out. They're about four for a pound, so they, they are quite cheap and they're a cost effective way of learning. The detail them as well is you can untie them once you've used them and use them again, so they last a long time. Okay, so very simple, using the balloon, I'm just going to do a, a, a chest pass with a bounce, always with a bounce and you've got time to react and then catch at the end. So quite easy with the younger ones, you can use this as a counting skill as well. Set maybe a goal of five and then progress it twice so you know you can track your improvement. So it's just a nice simple exercise. Bounce, catch, bounce, catch. You can see it's slower and lighter than a normal ball. It's just a nice and fast and catch. The second part, so this is uh, sending again. Uh, we're looking at sending towards the target. This works two ways, both in con control and accuracy. So you can use keywords like a little bit softer or just a little bit more pace on that. So here we've got three little cones, three targets, and a very simple exercise. All the players got to do is an underarm throw, feet almost sideways on, and transfer that weight and the throw. So the way we teach it is just to move, point the toe to the floor, heel to, to the, uh, the wall behind you. So Henry's going to demonstrate now. So he's behind the line to start off with. He's going to do a nice simple underarm throw to the target. So the cones are just there, all set up in a triangle shape. So I'm going to come back to go. So he's going to try and hit one, and then if he gets one, we'll take it out of the way. You can start with three. When you hit one, take it out of the way, get the ball. That's it. And go for another one. So you can make this a little bit harder by putting extra cones in. As you can see, Henry's quite good, he's still a lot of practice. Okay, so that was just a couple of exercises on sending. Sending is very important when you're on throws. You can also do an overarm throw as a sending activity, but make sure you've got the bend in the elbow. Uh, so the sending is really important when it comes to things like rounders or maybe quick cricket if you do an underarm bowl or just a skill where you might be working with a bracket, but you need to be able to send more consistency to the target. Things like that are quite important. So when it comes to the PE lessons, quite a lot of time, we can usually only find maybe five, six kids in reception year one that can actually count the first time every time. That's out of the class of 30. So things like this are quite important to practice at home. So when they do come to do other sports, they can move their skill level very quickly and move on to uh, other activities. Uh, so if you, you stay tuned for this one and the next one will be on the receiving skills and we will link the two together with the game at the end. So obviously the current game is a little, uh, little exercise to show everybody that you can just work on. So it's just simple little things, sending and receiving. Fantastic. Thanks very much.